What's going on, people? So, I said it in one of those reviews that I did earlier today. So, I'm doing all these recordings today. I think it's like six altogether or whatever. And so, the first things that I recorded were like the last shoes that I bought of last year. You know, so mid-December 2022, right? And these are one of the most recent pickups that I have. So, I bought these, what, like two weeks ago? Because they came out the same week of the... What was those ugly red 12s? The cherry 12s. Like, they came out like a few days before that, you know? So, I had no idea that it would take me that long to get around to reviewing those when I bought them. But, you know, life will throw some curveballs at you, people. Either way, let's go ahead and do this whole thing. Down there, side of the box. People like seeing pictures sometimes. So, there's a picture for you. Either way, and another picture, I guess. It's top of the box, because the box looks pretty cool. Now, I did do an initial review of these in some kind of way, right? Kind of half-heartedly, if you will, but decent. When I got them in the mail, because I did the double unboxing with this and the Spider-Man 2 Collector's Edition. It had that big old Venom statue. Maybe you saw that, right? But now, it's time to do the real deal, huh? Yeah, let's do that. Let's see what's going on here, right? So, as I alluded to moments ago, this right here is the Adidas... Ultra 4D Advanced in the Spider-Man 2 colorway. I have recorded six, this is review number six like I just said today, and that is the first one where I got like the color thing all right without having to read it off the side of the box. Crazy, right? You would think that I'd be better at this by now, but no, nah, no. Nah. Either way, so let's go ahead and get on into these, huh? I'm gonna start this thing with the bottom. Down there, what you're looking at, right? It looks basically the same as most of the other 4D shoes that I can think of. I think the Future Craft is the only one that kind of went a little different, right? I feel like that's accurate. But either way, it's nothing that you haven't seen before if you've looked at 4D shoes. Moving along to the midsole and whatnot here, right? So, this one it is kind of different in some ways in that like they went with like a clear sort of plastic. Because a lot of the other ones that I've seen have been more solid colored or that weird green they used to use. But it's a nice look, you know, and it's all 3D printed type of things going on down there. That's what it, the whole thing of it is, you know. I don't know why they call it 4D, but they do. It's, in a, it's a thing that Adidas chose to do and they're going with it. So good on them. Now, other pictures and whatnot so that you can see those other pictures that I always put in here, right? So looking at it top down and all that good stuff, right? Not a whole lot to really get out of that because it's like the subtle details on, well not subtle, but... The details down on the lower side that are going to be the ones that really like set these apart from anything so i had to get those in on some separate pictures and then you know you can go oh yeah that is kind of cool or maybe quite the contrary to you either way let's go ahead and do that piece of it huh so down here first off obviously now obviously like the whole ultra 4d thing like i've talked about some of these in the past right so and if you want to see some of those other ones like you can either a go and watch the go scroll through the Adidas Reviews playlist, or you can scroll through the Adidas 4D Videos playlist. The only difference being if it's the Reviews playlist, it's only Reviews. If it's the other one, that can sometimes include those little random like 60 second or less videos, which don't have a lot of substance behind them because most shorts don't have a lot of substance behind them. I just put one up this morning. I'm sure it was garbage. Anyways, moving along. Over here, right? You got the same style upper as you are gonna have on an Ultra Boost because that's how that works. You're just going to have the 40 at the bottom, so Ultra 40. Starting with the bottom, though, toe box type area, you got this whole, like, plasticky type piece, right, the blue, and then you got the little symbiote thing kind of creeping up, and that is going to be like a mirrored image of what you see on the other side, right? So both of these shoes are going to have like, the exact same design down there. It's not like certain other things where it's been kind of, like, unique. They they decided to, like, go the cheaper route, which is fine. It still looks good. It looks good. Moving back just a little bit, you have this here. Looks like it would be 3M on the side for the stripes. It's not. I found that out and I was like, well, well that's unfortunate. And then down here you have a little bit more of that symbiote stuff happening, right? Same as you kind of had on the front. The only difference being that this time around, if you look down on the inside here, it's actually on. It's actually printed on the prime net as well, right? So that's a very cool touch to me. And then as you get to the back here, you have it over behind the 4D, but on this heel cup as well, right? So the heel cup, it kind of has that same feeling of like a weird, not quite leather, but wants to feel like leather thing. 
And then the symbiote piece kind of feels like a weird plastic piece. So it's got a nice overlay to give you the idea that like something's creeping up on your shoes, you know? So presentation wise, like I think they, they did a great job on these. Moving along back over here, front piece and all that stuff, right? Over here on the top of the toe box, let me bring these up real quick. So this is an Ultra Boost 1.0, some of you might know that just because of the stitching pattern. And it's very similar to the stitching pattern they, that they went with on these. So you kind of got that heart shaped thing or that arrow shaped thing. Some people call it one or the other, you know? And so as you look at them both, they kind of have that same thing, right? And then as you go through the sides and whatnot, obviously this being a 40 and years later, certain things are looking a little different, but there's a lot of similarities more so between these particular models and some of the other ones later, as far as the stitching patterns go. Look at an Ultra 5D, Ultra Boost 5.0 DNA or something sometime, you'll see all the different stylings. Either way, getting back on track, but these right here at the top where the tongue piece is, normally this is like super plush or whatever, at least it always has been in the past. This one feels a little, a little thinner, but I think that's because they had to go with like a different sort of approach to get this design that they have on here, which makes sense, you know? I'm not bothered by it in any way, you know? And then moving on, because that's all the outside, moving on down to the inside. So that's going to be what you see in there, right? Got a little marble thing, some Insomniac stuff, right? It's all pretty pretty standard, you know, just got to get that branding in there. And then obviously the rest being just like your standard prime knit, which does stretch it out a little bit as you wear them, because that's how the prime knit thing works. Still, still kind of applies to like the 350s and such, right? But, you know, it's just one of those things. So if they... Well, I'll, I'll get into that later with the sizing. But either way, so there's going to be that for you. Now, let's knock out some personal thoughts because why not? Personally speaking, right? When I saw these, I was like, you oh, know, these could be kind of cool to have or whatever, right? I mean, I don't really need them, but something to have, I suppose. So I was doing some work that day, getting some scripting stuff together, and then it was taking a while. I finally got through it, and I was like, you know what? I'm going to buy those shoes that I saw, the Spider-Man ones as a reward for myself for a job well done, right? So I did. And it, I'm glad I did pull the trigger when I did because like they, I started liking them more and then I saw that they sold out and I was like, oh, well, good thing I got in there early enough, right? And so then when they came in and I unboxed them, I was like, oh, these are actually like pretty cool because like I was wondering like about the whole 4D thing and like, well, maybe I'd prefer Boost or whatever, but with the whole 4D look, it actually makes a little bit more sense for this kind of style because the whole symbiote thing or whatever so yeah i'm good with these i've got like zero complaints which is kind of uncommon honestly because most of the reviews that i've done today have left me feeling a little bothered and or underwhelmed in a lot of cases so there is that so i'm ending on a high note but yeah all in all i don't know what these are going for on the resale market or if they've done wider releases since late october but if you can find a pair and, and, you, and you like the look of them already, I would say go ahead and go for it because why not, right? Well, why not? You might be thinking like, but are they comfortable? That, that could be a reason why to not get them, I guess. So let's talk about that, huh? Let's do some sizing, some comfort, wrap this video up so I can move on with my day. Sizing wise, I bought these in a nine and a half, which is pretty much my standard go-to for a lot of things, right? Now, dimensions-wise, to me, they remind me of all the other Ultra 40s and stuff, right? So true to size works out just fine. Now, obviously, it's being a prime net sort of thing, if they do feel a little snug or whatever, they will loosen up over time. Only slight difference here being that since you have this little plastic piece down around the bottom of the toe box area, I mean, I don't think that that's moving anywhere. But still, the true to size thing worked out for me. So if you have any other Ultra Boost or whatever, or live near a store we can try a pair on that'd probably be the best bet but you know true to size worked out for me for me for you i don't know you figure that out on your own time now as far as the boost excuse me the 4d stuff at the bottom right when you put these on okay out of the box they're gonna feel okay they're gonna feel fine you're not gonna you're probably not gonna hate it but you're probably gonna also think like mm, it's not bad but i'd rather wear a b or c you know based on your own personal preference but because this is the 4d thing like as you wear these they do kind of like start to kind of kind of like cork in a way like they kind of break down and mold to your foot just a little bit so they get more comfortable over time and i actually just had a pair of ultra 4ds on a couple weeks ago and i was like huh 
I think they're a lot more comfortable than I remember them being. So take your first judgment, maybe kind of tuck that away in the back of your mind, you know, stick it in your back pocket or something, and then come back around later, assuming you actually buy a pair or whatever, and you might find yourself feeling the same way as I felt. Is, this, is it going to break into the point of making you think, okay, this is leaps and bounds above everything else? Probably not, but it's going to be better, so there is that. Because even at the end of the day, as much as I like them, I still don't really think I've like recommended them over many other things. It's just nice knowing that this is a nice, comfortable, reliable shoe you can break down and pick up once the prices break down anyways. So there is that. But past all that, I don't think there's much else left to really say about the Ultra 40s and such, so we're just going to move on. From me to you, have a nice rest of your day or rest of your night, whatever it is, wherever you are. I'm now done doing all my recordings, which, uh, I tell you, like, I don't know how many people that do this are, like, watching this or whatever, but six videos back to back is, it is time consuming and takes a lot of talking. And I don't like either of those things. I like things to be quick and I also like to not have to talk a lot. But now I get to spend the rest of the day just kind of doing nothing, probably watch Crown Jewel because I didn't watch that yesterday. Later, people.